We're in North Wales with Sheila Marshall, a woman on a mission to change the face of fine dining in the area. This is The Expat, episode three. Well, we've been coming here since I was 11 years old. The, the family story is that um, they changed the bank holidays in the 60s. And so my father, as a very busy architect at the time, was working stupid, stupid hours. And my mother called up and said, do you know there's a bank holiday? And he said, well, I don't care. I said, just find somewhere for us to go. So she put, um, they were living in the Midlands at the time. They took a, a, a map and she took a piece of string and worked out which was the closest place to get to the coast from the Midlands, and it, uh, which had a golf course and a campsite, and it turned out to be Harlech. So we came here, we all loved it so much. We've been, we came, started coming here every year, every summer holiday and every Christmas from then on. Finally, when my father retired from work, they decided that this is where they would settle. So they sold their family home, and the bungalow they had here and bought this, this residence, which he then remodelled. Mum died in 2016 and Dad, I always said he died of broken heart. He went into a deep depression. After, they, were, they were married for 64 years. I gave them the best 60th wedding anniversary party here, though. It was Amazing. I had a cake made for them. Um, it was just one of those really great special occasions. So I'm glad that they had that. Um, after dad died, uh, which was almost a year to the day when mum died, I thought, I'm not going to, I'm, this place gets into your blood. I thought, I love living by the sea. I love this house. I'm not moving. That's a good question. Um, <laughs> um, what am I doing sitting here in a chef's jacket? Well, I am uh, just that little bit obsessed with food. I love food. I love entertaining. I love the hospitality. There is nothing I like better than, than um, serving people food that they love. it. And if they happen to pay me afterwards, then that's even better. very early on decided that I wanted to do something that was um, somewhere that I wanted to go, somewhere I wanted to take mum and dad to. So I wanted something that was um, a, a, somewhere between the two. I wanted to have a lovely fine dining experience, but somewhere I, I actually could come to in a pair of jeans. I cook everything from scratch. Um, the bread and everything, the ice cream, um, if there's cheese biscuits, I've made them. Absolutely everything I do from scratch. It's all got a Middle Eastern flavour to it. But it's more, it's not what you'd think of as Lebanese food. It, it's um, Middle Eastern food that's been elevated to um, a fine dining um, delivery. And I do kind of, and I put things together that any Middle Eastern purist would go, you can't do that. Um, but you can. Um, I, I really enjoy that, uh, the ambience, which I always liken to being a private dining room on a cruise ship, that kind of special feeling that, um, which reflects the sea uh, and the lightness of the space and the casual feeling, because I really want people to feel really special when they come here, like they're coming to the captain's table. Um, the Middle Eastern bend is very important to me. and. What I've been doing since I've began is is really testing the water with what people like and what they don't like. I started off doing a very broad Mediterranean menu, and it's uh, the fallout is this groove that I have, which is um, really arabesque. It's French, it's Middle Eastern, it's somewhere between the two. Uh, there is a particular ingredient which I'm very fond of that the, uh, in the Middle East you make lemon tea with, and it's called Nomi Basra. 
and it's a dried line. It's very beautiful. When you cut it in half, it's just, it looks like a cross between a star and anise. It's the most exquisite thing. And that is going to be the name of my restaurant. Uh, so that, that's where uh, I want to move to, so that I've got two aspects of it. Uh, a bistro um, where you might not need to book and the fine dining aspect, which is geared up to special events. People come to me when they want to have um, wedding anniversaries. I've got a party of um, 12 uh, next month. They're coming for their 70th birthday party. I had a whole bunch of Welsh farmers last uh, in May, um, 25 of them. And that was a birthday party. So people come here when they want something different and special. Um, they've come to me um, when they've had their corporate um, anniversaries. They've come to me just because they want a little bit of this lifestyle. Uh, they've come, I've had a couple that came to renew their wedding vows. I've had people come here on honeymoon. They've stayed here in, um, in the rooms here and wanted to enjoy the whole experience of being here by the sea and breathing this air and enjoying the artwork on the walls and um, maybe sitting in the conservatory and listening to the rain and playing Scrabble. One common theme here is that people say, I never want to leave. And that's kind of how I felt when I very first came to um, live here properly when I was looking after mum and dad that I just thought, I never want to leave either. <laughs>